many people hold misconception about negative energy because when we look at energy in general we apply our man-made our human perception and understanding so if something is unpleasant we call it negative if something is pleasing joyful of nature of enjoyment we say it's positive but from a spiritual perspective negative energy is a powerful drive to a spiritual evolution because in the down cycle we have accumulated a lot of corruption and limitations and these limitations are the negative energy so the negative energy in its core is the limitations and so when we recognize consciously these limitations we start the process of spiritual ascension and evolution awakening and so when we understand this we become sort of enlightened to a degree because we gain clarity we realize that the force that we consider as negative is the force of dissolution the dissolution of boundaries and in fact it is not a negative force when we look at mythology and yogic literature the 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 destructive force of creation or shiva is seen as negative but in reality it is the force of awareness of higher awareness which dissolves the limitations the more we become aware of our limitations the more power we have over these limitations to dissolve these limitations so in other words the the power that dissolves limitations is that power that drives evolution that drives us towards the upper cycle towards the realization of our essence that now through the down cycle has been mixed with different types of limited information accumulated uh, types of information tarnished by our limited perception so negative energy is in other words the energy that causes pain and the pain itself is felt or perceived because it's the pain of limitation the pain itself is the limitation so that's what people say that during the process of awakening kundalini awakening they undergo a dark night of the soul or they undergo the ego death well what is there to die but to be dissolved so when we are limited and we realize this limitation we are no longer comfortable and so this this situation seems to be negative for our limited mind but it indicates the limitation itself and so it allows us if we are mature enough to consciously dissolve this limitation to heal ourselves from the corruption and to liberate our spiritual essence that has always been there so it is a very very important understanding now what we consider as positive which is of nature of substance sustenance the nature of creation creation itself has unlimited potential but for one dimension it may become a uh, bondage like for example if you are muddled in creative pursuits you again bind yourself to this dimension you might as well forget about the transitory nature of this dimension and so that which you consider as positive fulfilling for this moment could be from a spiritual perspective is negative 
And it just teaches us one thing, that there is nothing positive or negative. Everything is just fluctuation of energy or fluctuation of conscious expression, the expression of creation. Creation itself can be in different modes, and that's what our ancestors passed on to us, that creation can be uh, in three modes, in a creating mode, emanating mode, it can be of a balancing mode, sustaining mode, and it can be in a mode of dissolving whatever limitations and liberating itself. And yes, this uh, knowledge must have been passed on through myths and maybe some kind of had been mixed with religious, philosophic thoughts. But yet the essence is one and the same. If one has that awakened understanding, whatever philosophies, whatever religions or limited concepts, all are seen as different limited emanations of one and the same truth, which is unlimited, which is eternal. And so there is nothing in our life as positive or negative. It is a human perspective. It is an individual perspective and defined by the perception of a certain event or situation or experience. But after all, whatever is limiting us becomes the path to liberation because without pain, we can't know the bliss because the pain of limitation, the, the negative experiences pushes us to look for liberation to surrender, to let go and liberate that essence that has been suppressed. So the actual experience of, or a negative experience is the experience of that essence being suppressed. And now through surrender, we experience its liberation, which from a spiritual perspective is our goal and should be viewed as positive. But without that suppression and the moment of limitation and restriction, without that awareness and identification of that situation as restrictive, we cannot experience liberation. And that's why our consciousness learns through these different modes so that we can find the natural flow where we experience just the neutri neutrality, equanimity, as the natural flow rather than different extremes of restrictions and then temporary liberation and again restriction. But as long as we are on the path of self-healing, on the path of um, self-realization, you may say, when, when the path of self-realization is that stage where you are identifying all the restrictive modes of your consciousness, all the uh, restrictions within your consciousness, within your understanding of life, of reality, of energy, of dimension, time, space, continuum, etc., etc. And so while you are in that process, you will experience these modes of suppression, restriction, and then only through the wisdom that will push you to surrender, you will be able to liberate yourself and release that essence from the clasps of limited understanding of life, from the clasps of concepts, from the clasps of limited intellectual understanding, or from the clasps of trauma, emotional trauma, which is limited to certain events and people. And so whatever aspect of life you take, the healing happens through surrender or through the liberation of that consciousness, the essence, the essence of our being, surrender to the flow, whether it's forgiveness, whether it's letting go, it's all one and the same thing. The surrender, the realization that the restriction is there and you just let it go to the flow of life. And the flow of life takes you to equanimity and blissful contentment.
So that's the main message. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and uh, join uh, this community. Thank you.